Hey guys, this is uh, Jacques from Kulu Linux. I'm going to be showing you the latest uh, update from the Aero Edition. It is very, very close to release. Very, very close. But before I get into that, I just want to say a big thank you because I see a couple of donations have come in. Uh, so I just want to say a big thank you to uh, the guys that sort of helped out there. Um, you know, the project wasn't doing so well financially over the last year. And I kind of had to step in and, and, and make it, you know, stabilize it and so forth. And uh, a few guys did donate. It was enough for me to get the repos up and going, to pay the website up front for a few months. And, you know, just stabilize the project in terms of its finances. And it took a lot of stress off my shoulders. And that's probably one of the biggest reasons this release is going to be so good. Because uh, I could just focus on, on what I need to do and not worry about everything else. So a big, big thank you to the guys that did donate. Um, to the rest of you guys, don't let it be a once-off thing. You know, the project does cost money on a monthly basis. Um, so if you can help out, it, it really is appreciated. Um, anyway, so let's get into the release. Okay, so... There's been a couple of updates or changes since the last last video, but I'm assuming that whoever watches this might not have seen the last video. Um, this version, this this build will be labeled Makulu Linux Aero Edition, but will be version 11, not 10.2. Um, there's a couple of reasons for that, and I'll get into them in due time. But um, I just want to go over sort of from one side to the other side, so... Uh, you know, any new users would, wouldn't have to sort of get stuck in the middle not knowing what's going on. Okay, so Aero Edition started off with a sort of a familiar kind of almost sort of Windows front end kind of look, you know, but Linux under the wood. So it's it's not really intended to be like Windows. It's more intended to you know, for the users that, that kind of feel comfortable with that look or feel, for them to feel comfortable in this, in this, in, in this edition. So some, some, some things might sort of feel a little Windows-like, other things won't, you know, it, it's just, it's just there enough for you to feel comfortable, okay, that's, that's the goal here. It's not a Windows clone, it doesn't, it's not replicating Windows, it's the menus aren't exactly like Windows. It's just a, a sort of a familiar sort of a, a mesh between a Windows slash Linux look. You know, if you kind of mesh the two together, then the result that you would get is something like this. So that's it's enough for the Linux user to feel comfortable in. It's enough for the Windows users to be comfortable in for both environments to work comfortably on the same platform. If, if if that makes any sense. That is the end goal here with this look. Okay, and this is a beautiful look. Very, very stunning look. I mean, it is awesome. You know, you've got your rolling desktop wallpapers. You've got your clock on your desktop. You've got your quotes that, that change every two hours. You've got a brilliant theme. Um, a very, very comfortable look and feel here. Okay, so um, I'm very, very pleased with this edition. I know with the previous version, we kind of made it a look a lot more like Windows 7. This one, not so much. Uh, we've moved away from that look. It's more the kind of Windows 10 theme, this one, but only really the shell theme is Windows 10. Um, the mouse cursor is completely different theme, controls another theme, and so forth, so forth, so forth. Anyway, um, so yeah, a couple of big changes between the version 10 and version 11 is obviously the version 10 had limitations with updates you know you could you could only update via the update manager and uh, also lock the cinnamon version so you couldn't push to the next version there was a reason for that and the main reason for that was that the plugins the cinnamon plugins had major issues they were updating cinnamon to new versions all the time and it was causing a lot of problems with the menu plugins you know and I know a lot of guys still have issues with menu plugins where if they use a menu open a menu it would throw up errors um, so I had to repair that so this this is a fully functional uh, menu without any any problems it, it works out of the box as intended looks very nice 
a very stylish and very nice look and this is forked from the um, stock menu so this is originally forked from the stock menu it is now labeled the uh, uh, it's now labeled the Makulu menu okay but it's forked from the stock menu so it's got a, a very similar to that stock feel and look and it's got your favorites on the left it's got your system favorites on the right it's got the shutdown options at the bottom it's got the all programs of categories and obviously the apps it's got a search fun feature there so it's it's a, it's a very solid menu you know it's the kind of menu that you get in linux because if you look at mate they've got the mint menu which is very similar to this and then um a lot of the cinnamon menus are very similar to this and then of course the windows menus are very similar to this so it's kind of like a, a best of both worlds you know comfortable enough for the windows users to be comfortable in and comfortable enough for the linux users to be comfortable in so it's it's, it's meshed well together anyway it's, it's got some nice features you know um you can fav add stuff to favorites and add to desktop and so forth just by simply right clicking so that's pretty cool if you want to add something to the panel you can just drag it down to the panel you know you can just take an item and just drag it onto the panel if you want so that's pretty cool okay and uh, this version of cinnamon if we go to system info you'll see here yeah, this version is uh, cinnamon version 2.8.8 now a lot of people's going to go but yeah but 3.0 is out why don't you use 3.0 well firstly this this build isn't dependent on the latest cinnamon version it's dependent on a fully functional cinnamon version okay and uh, that's number one number two is that because we incorporate also the ubuntu repos into the makulu for the software center we incorporate the ubuntu repos into makulu linux editions because of the software center we use their lts repos so that you have long-term support with your software and for that reason you know um, mint has made it clear that they do not support the 14.04.2 lts repos um, it's 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 not going to um, really mesh well with those repos you know so 2.8.8 is the current latest version there and frankly I feel more comfortable running a 2.88 than the 3.0 which is still being going under major transformations and so forth so the current latest build here is 2.8.8 okay and of course it's Aero 11 and or McCool Linux 11 Aero um, it's running on kernel 4.4.0-21 currently that might change but I doubt it I think we're very too, so close to release I don't think um, I think the release will be before the next kernel update um, so yeah so that's the, the the info of the OS okay um, the menu offers you pretty much everything right at your fingertips like uh, most commonly used stuff, you've got system info, you've got system settings, software center, synaptic package manager, user groups, system monitor, software sources, update manager, the constructor tool, the terminal. You know, that's right here, all right here. You don't even have to go all programs and administration or anything like that. You can just simply get them here. The favorites over here are listed to your email, your offers, team viewers, Skype, radio tray, calculator, leaf band. Okay. Um, I also put a donate button there obviously I want to make that easy for the users to get to but um, so right when you open your menu when you open your menu for the first time you've got pretty much a lot of the options that you'll probably be using a lot right here right here without needing to sort of first go and look for something but you can always add and remove from favorites easily just right click remove right click add to favorites so you can you can change this up as you want you know put your favorites list in there so that's really nice you've also got the search function here as well so that's really really nice menu I'm very happy with it I'm happy with the look the feel it's it's, it's a very nice sort of a flat flat look you know the highlights are nice um, really perfect um, this whole edition I'm really really um, happy with how it turned out in terms of the look the feel how well it's polished you know um, 
a couple of things the users will notice obviously that's very different from version 10 is we use the software center here is app grid the app grid software center as you can see it's very fast very snappy now i stay in a hotel so my internet is a little uh, crap especially now it's holiday the internet the hotel's full so you got like 200 people sharing a connection here so the pictures might take like a few seconds to load but the overall um, system performance of this this uh, app grid is just stunningly fast. You can just click on something and, you know, it's under normal conditions with a decent internet, it pops up immediately. There's your install button. You can read the reviews, see the pictures, and get all the rest of the details. Very, very nice this app grid. It's probably one of the fastest software centers I've ever encountered. So, uh, off the bat, Makulu Aero will come with a really speedy uh, software center. I'm pretty sure a lot of guys will be happy about it. It's in your bottom panel over there as well. Um, speaking about the bottom panel, I've kept it pretty much standard as, as the 10 series was with your system, all your system shortcuts on the bottom right and all your favorites, sort of like a, a, your well, a file manager, terminal, web browser and software center as well as the show desktop button on the bottom left and then the menu. So that's pretty much standard how it's been, you know, if over the last two versions and, you know, so yeah, so I thought I'd continue that. A couple of major updates is the update or major changes is the update manager. There's a button there for the update manager. It is also over here. I actually had to write the plugin for this. So this doesn't exist anywhere else except in Makulu Linux, okay, as well as the menu. Um, the current stock menu, the configurable menu, and a couple of the other menu plugins in Cinnamon on the Cinnamon website, they all bug it, they don't work. There's some major changes needed there. Um, I forked them, I forked the, the, the stock menu, and it's in the Makulu repo, so any changes need to be made. I could just send it straight through to the users. It is not on the Cinnamon website, you won't get this menu on the Cinnamon website. And um, some of the testers actually asked me, why don't I put it there? The reason is simple, you know. I mean, I don't mind putting it there, but if I put it there, I've got to maintain it. And I've got to maintain it for everybody that runs any version of Cinnamon or forks any version of Cinnamon. And really, my focus is on Makulu Linux. I can't still sit and, you know, spend half my day making plugins for everybody else. Um, so it's not out of nastiness or, or selfishness or whatever. It's just I, I, my time already is limited. I just don't have time to still do this for every Cinnamon build out there. So for now, it is just for Makulu Linux only, as well as the update plugin. I've made a plugin for Package Kit, for GNOME Package Kit, that, which is the update um, system we use for this. Uh, and I'm very, I'm actually very happy with this decision. Because previously we used the Mint updater, which was horrible. The Ubuntu updater is horrible. Um, and then there are a couple of other updaters out there. They're all horrible. I just, it's too many issues, too many headaches, you know. Um, too many inconsistencies between builds. You know, one build will work well, the next one will give problems. Um, and I found this one very neutral. You know, it always just, it's very nice, very simple, and it works. So I kind of wrote a plugin for it, you know, if you click on it, it will update your sources list. And this usually takes like a um, couple of seconds, maybe like a half a minute or something. Uh, like I said, my net here isn't the greatest. Okay, there we go. It's getting a list of updates, loading cache. And as you can see, I specifically did not update because I wanted to. Well, I wanted it to have updates so you can actually see it working. Um, so there we go. You get a list of updates. You can actually select an update, click on details, and it will actually give you the. If there are details about the update, it will actually list the details. So you can see what's changed and so forth. And of course, you can tick the updates that you want or untick the ones that you don't. By default, they are all ticked, and you can simply click Install Updates, and it will install. So very simple, very easy update manager. Right there in the bottom panel, it's got a very nice icon. It stands out. You cannot miss it. So I'm really, really happy with that new update manager that we're using. The other major change is the Makulu Constructor, which is now has like a nice little menu, and it's very easy to use. You can just run scale copy, 
um, select a user scroll copy select a user click OK and it will literally back up that user files that's it done and then run constructor and it will just start building nothing else to it so easy simple I really like this new menu I made I suppose I could have made it a little bit more fancy but it works I might I might uh, polish it at the later stage for now you've got two buttons you've got to click and that's literally it and, and it's done so um, those are two major updates or three major updates the update manager the Google constructor the software center that's that that I consider major because I did quite a lot of work especially on the constructor and making these little plugins I did a lot of work there app grid I had to also struggle a little to get it to work um, had a couple of errors but nothing major got it working in the end so I'm really happy about that if we go to system settings you'll notice here that the firewall is built in so Makulu comes with firewall built in so your system is fully fully protected against hackers or you know anything like that you've also got clam TK which is the uh, antivirus if you actually right click something and you go scan for antivirus scan for virus which by the way is a nice little feature you can just right click and scan something for virus just give it it takes a while to read databases and stuff um, as you can see one directory scan blah 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 and it gives you a little report there so it's nice any file or folder you can just right click and scan for virus so that's pretty cool keep your PC safe from viruses other than that um, it's got all the standard features that Mint has you've got open as, open as root, compress, sharing options um, you know it's, it's, it's pretty much a, a very very stable and very fast system the apps included here are your standard games with Steam obviously graphics you got your Nomax image viewer which I love you got your my paint you got Pinter you got a document viewer there um, and the internet you got your Google Chrome obviously mega sync which gives you 50 gigs of online storage you got Nuvola player which uh, and Google music manager they kind of work together you can manage your Google music and you can play it stream it with a Nuvola player so that's pretty cool you got pigeon which is your um, Messenger, instant messenger. You got a bit torrent client here. You got Skype, Team Viewers on here. That's pretty cool. Um, and the Office, you got the full WPS Office suite, and of course that, as I said, the PDF multi-document viewer. Um, you got Evolution Mail. Under Sound and Video, you got Kazam. You got Brasero for writing CDs and DVDs. You got Pulse Audio. You got Radio Tray. You got Rhythm Box. You got a sound recorder. You got VLC Media Player. So that's pretty cool. You got the full wine suite, so um, you got the calculator and you got a screenshot utility, and um, you got leaf pad. You know, so not too many, not too, not too not over bloated with software. Kind of just a little bit of everything. So you have a sound player, and you have a video player, and you have an office suite, and you have a browser, and you have an instant messenger. You know, and you got a couple of games. Uh, you got a paint program and an image viewer. So pretty much standard stuff, you know, no, not overly bloated, just enough to sort of get you by. Um, you can always install anything else you want via software manager. You've got the antivirus updater, which is really nice because a lot of guys always struggle to update Clam. You know, it's, now I've just made it a one button. If you click that, it just simply updates it. Bleach bit to keep your, keep your system clean. You've got a driver manager. And by the way, a driver manager that, that works. I know the guys were moaning a lot with the 10 series that uh, they had issues with NVIDIA cards and so forth. I had the testers test this and I focused heavily on it. Um, they've reported that this now works. So hopefully no more problems with NVIDIA cards. Gparter, Grub Customizer. Um, yeah, so you've got... All this uh, unit booting is in here to create uh, USB sticks. Of course, the package manager is in here as well. So yeah, all the standard stuff. Not overly bloated. I've removed a lot of lot of uh, what I consider useless junk and just sort of kept everything in here that the average user would use every day. And uh, of course, you got the software center, so you can fill up the software with whatever you want. Now, if you look at the look here, it's it's it is a really nice look. I've kept it, you know, it is kind of a little sort of semi-transparent, you know, you can see there, you can see the clock right through it. So there's a lot of transparency around if you sort of just look for it. Um, but it is a very nice look, very nice theme. I'll get into the themes now. 
uh, if we go to themes, you'll see here that I pretty much like the 10 series. I've kept a lot of the themes here, the Windows 8, Windows XP, Windows 10, Windows Vista, the Aero theme. So you can sort of change to the old theme if you want. Click there. Let's keep that over there. Let's go there to the Aero look over there. And as you see, you will now have the more Aero kind of look for the guys that prefer the Aero look. Um, there you have it. Just a few clicks and your system looks completely different. So um, you can really change this look as you want. You know, you can go to uh, sort of more of an XP look and put the XP icons in put the XP controls and change this to the Windows XP look over there and as you see now you will have a much more sort of a Windows XP kind of look so really with theme wise you can just go crazy and change the system to whatever your preferences are you know um, so yeah by standard I keep it on this Windows 10 kind of look so that's pretty cool very happy with that um, let's go back there. Okay, so that's the themes. Okay, so you've got nice, nice bunch of themes that you that you can use, and as you can see, the system is very fluid. It it just flows so nicely. It's very stable, very smooth. Runs really well. I really, really am impressed with the result of the system. I think the users are gonna love it. The new Makulu repos are in here. It's linked to the Ubuntu Software Center, that, that repo. So the Software Center is going to be great. I've also included a bunch of wallpapers here that, you know, a whole new range of wallpapers. Really stunning. Make the version or make this build look really, really great. I think the users will be really impressed with this. Um, so if I just run through a few of these uh, new wallpapers, as you can see, some really stunning wallpapers. Um, really really nice um, just to sort of spice up your desktop environment a little bit uh, some really cool ones here so a couple of favorites of mine as well anyway so uh, yeah so that's that's pretty much the desktop environment okay I'm not going to go too much more into detail I'm sure you guys will discover a whole lot more on your own as you can see the system runs really well um, no issues. Um, there aren't any bugs left that I don't think. Uh, I'm still waiting for the guys to come back on that, but I really don't expect a lot more or any other bugs really to exist because uh, it's been many betas worked really hard on this. Um, the other thing, the, the the now I want to get to the reason I really named this Makulu Linux 11 instead of 10.2. Okay, this build has. Um, the Makulu desktop already incorporated into this release. That means that uh, in the future, whenever I release a new look or a new, pretty much new anything, you know, uh, the user will have the option to upgrade to that look or feel or whatever. So the next edition that comes out and it's got a great looking desktop and I make certain changes or whatever, the users can simply apply those changes without the need to download a new ISO and you know uh, reinstall and so forth. So the Makulu desktop is already incorporated into this edition, and that is major. That that's a lot of backend work that went into get that into the system. So that is the main reason I moved over to the version 11 because that is a big change, and uh, I didn't want it still to be labeled as part of the 10 series. So this comes with Makulu Desktop already incorporated. Now, I the Makulu Desktop is a whole different video on its own, and I don't know how far I'm going to push boundaries on that project, but it is an ongoing project, and it does it does look very promising, and I'm not quite sure how far in depth we will go with that project, but the fact is that it is already, the groundwork is laid in this build for the users to be able to make use of that. So that is awesome. Now, the other major change that users will notice here is the um, installer. Now, that is why I'm actually making this video of a live system, is because I wanted to show off the installer. 
Now, we moved over from the previous um, sort of Debian-based installer to the more Mint slash Ubuntu slash installer style. So you're going to find that installing Makulu Linux is going to be as easy as it is on Mint or Ubuntu or wherever else they use the, this installer. This seems to be the standard installer for a lot of distros now, so we've moved over to that. So very easy to install, you just tick, 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 next, 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 fill in next, done, kind of thing, you know. So really, really awesome. And as you can see, this edition will need 6 8.6 gigs of space. So there you can go erase disk and install Makulu, and you can go next and select your location. Yes. Um, so easy to do. So there you choose location, and you click next. Yes, next. And select your username, blah 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 blah, blah 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 blah, whatever. Let's test anyway. Login automatically, yes. Continue. And now to move over to the slideshow. Let's give it a second to boot. There we go, copying. And there you go. Kulu now has a nice little slideshow as well. So, yeah, so pretty much, pretty much uh, your standard. Let's just minimize that. Pretty much uh, the standard sort of arrow, what arrow 10 should have been, you know. You know, I always see the those first builds that when I first start something as experimental. So version 10 really was just very much experimental. I didn't have a lot of uh, experience with doing it. And uh, I've now obviously gained a lot of experience, gained a lot of knowledge, gained a lot of feedback from users seeing what they like and what they don't like and so i focused on that and this is the masterpiece that came out as a result so here you have a really beautiful 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 what version 10 really should have been um yeah installers running now in the background anyway so that is pretty much version 11 in a nutshell there's obviously a lot more under the hood you guys can discover that all on your own or read the release notes when it does come out um, but you have the stunning desktop, looks really nice, everything working out of the box, um, it's very stable, very fast. Uh, remember, I'm running on a virtual box and in a hotel with 200 other people on the internet here, so um, it will drag a little bit on my side. But on actual hardware, this flies. I've asked the testers and they're all happy with the speed, they're happy with the stability. Um, so yeah, so this will be coming to you guys very, very soon. It is now so close to release that I'm actually considering it within the next uh, few, next couple of weeks or so. So something to look forward to. And once again, I want to say thank you to the guys that did uh, donate some money. I'm really happy about it. It's it's the reason this is running so stable. Is I was many I managed to get a repo up and going, and you know just focus on this and pay websites and not worry about all kinds of other crap. So I'm really, really happy about it. So I just want to again say thank you very much for that. And also just to say, um, you know, keep it up, please. Um, I know it's asking a lot, but stuff must get paid. And, uh, you know, uh, this is the kind of work I do when I don't have to worry about that kind of stuff. Then I can just focus on work and put out brilliant masterpieces, you know. So and I'm already I'm already starting a work on the next project and the next after that and I'll announce those in due time. But this is coming to you within the next few weeks. So until then, I might just make another video too. Who knows? But uh, yeah, this is Jacques from Makulu Linux. Uh, it's been fun. Cheers.